then moving to one last concept in targeted drugs these are called immune checkpoint inhibitors immune checkpoint inhibitors so first we'll try to understand what is the meaning of this now this is our t cell we know the function of t cell is to kill the tumor cell it kills many other cells also but tumor cells also so this is a tumor cell so t cell will kill the tumor cell but the problem is t cell is killing a tumor cell but not a normal cell so what is the difference between a tumor cell and a normal cell we know mostly the tumor cells are very similar to normal cell so how it happens that t cell will attack only the tumor cell not the normal cell so what is the difference is this is a tumor cell this is a tumor cell what is the difference is a normal cell a normal cell it has been given an id card so whenever tumor t cell try to kill a normal cell the normal cell will show the id that i am part of your body please don't kill me so t cell will stop but tumor cells do not have that id so what is that id remember on the t cell there is presence of a receptor called as programmed death receptor so called as pd1 programmed death receptor programmed death receptor is present on the t cells so whenever t cell try to attack a normal cell the normal cell has programmed death ligand 1 ligand 1 so this ligand will bind to the pd1 of the t cell so when this bind the t cell thinks or t cells finds that this cell is a normal cell i should not kill this cell so basically whenever this interaction occurs the t cells are inhibited so the immunity is kept under check immunity is kept under check against the normal cells because this id card is given to the normal cell the name of the id card is pdl1 so tumor cells do not have this id card so whenever t cell attack a normal cell normal cell will show the id card so t cell will stop immunity will stop on the other hand when t cell try to kill a cancer cell cancer cell do not have id so it can kill the cancer cell okay so that is the normal thing normal physiology normal immunity but now the cancer cells have become smart so they came to know that the normal cell survive because they have id card so what they do they make a fake id card so now the tumor cell has also started expressing the pdl1 so the tumor cell is having pdl1 then the pd1 which is present on the t cell it will bind to this also so again the t cell will be inhibited so now the t cell is not able to kill the tumor cell that's why tumor is growing yeah so the tumor cells or cancer cells they have made a fake id so if we stop this interaction this id interaction then we can kill the cancer cell so that mechanism is known as immune checkpoint inhibitors so this is the immune checkpoint against normal cells so what we have done we have developed two type of drugs one which can bind to pd1 so if a drug bind to pd1 it will not be able to recognize the id card second we can give a drug which bind to pd l1 again now the id card cannot be shown to the t cell so two type of drugs if we stop this interaction t cell cannot be inhibited when t cell is not inhibited they will kill the cancer cells that is the concept is it okay so now what are the drugs the drugs are remembered as new drugs act at immune checkpoint new drugs act at immune checkpoint these are the drugs so n for nivolumab nivolumab d for darvalumab darvalumab a for avelumab avelumab at for atezolizumab atezolizumab i for ipilimumab C for semiplimab and P for pembrolizumab. 
so these are the immune checkpoint inhibitors so all the immune checkpoint inhibitors i have covered question is being asked on immune checkpoint inhibitors now discussing the users of these drugs although i don't want the, you to remember the users the gross users or the special users you can remember although nivolumab can be used for many types of cancers like lung carcinoma and many others but the special thing you need to remember it is used for hodgkins lymphoma hodgkins lymphoma then darvalumab it is used for bladder cancer urinary bladder carcinoma from the name you can remember it is saying darva so darva if we write bla in front it become bladderva it is used for bladderva cancer so bladder cancer avelumab is used for merkel cell carcinoma merkel cell carcinoma so if you remember in the south african team there was a cricket player called as lb morkel remember have you heard the name lb morkel lb morkel was present so lb means uh, remove the l it become abe so abelumab abelumab is used for morkel means merkel cell carcinoma abelumab for merkel cell carcinoma then we have atezolizumab this is also for urothelial carcinoma or urinary bladder carcinoma urothelial carcinoma we have atezolizumab ipilimumab is for malignant melanoma malignant melanoma we have epilimumab semiplimab is for squamous cell carcinoma of skin so you can remember c for cutaneous cancer cutaneous cancer skin cancer and pembrolizumab this is a drug which is having maximum wide spectrum can be used for almost every cancer so you can see pembrolizumab can be used for renal cell carcinoma hepatocellular carcinoma breast cancer uh, malignant melanoma b cell lymphoma lo lot of cancers the special thing to remember it is also used for endometrial carcinoma no other drug in this group is effective in endometrial carcinoma pembrolizumab is used for endometrial carcinoma also it is used for breast cancer also so in the name you can find many but i don't want you to remember we have endometrial carcinoma breast carcinoma lymphoma we have malignant melanoma we have breast cancer but many cancers we can use but important to remember pembrolizumab has very wide spectrum Okay. so these are the important points regarding the immune checkpoint inhibitors or we can say we have covered the targeted anti cancer drugs mm -hmm.